Okay, here we are back again, and we've talked about uh, the line by itself. We talked about both sides, and we talked about normals uh, in the previous video. So this one, we're going to talk about angled, and angled is really pretty much straightforward. Uh, it gives you an angle <laughs> of some uh, curve uh, from another curve. So basically, it draws a line at a specific angle from a reference line. So you'll need a reference line or a surface. You can do either either one but uh, what what we need to do uh, for first is to uh, make sure our snaps are on because we're gonna want to be using that line if I if I go and try and uh, draw you first of all I guess you can go for to your lines you can go to angled uh, and then if I don't have my you know it's very difficult to get that line exactly where I want it either on the surface or the uh, the surface or the line itself right so you'll want to turn on your o snaps and you'll want to make sure you have end on or maybe you want it from the mid it just depends so you can have whatever snap you need uh so basically let's, we'll just do this line here we'll snap it to the end this will be our reference line okay we want a line going 60 degrees from this line so we'll just click on that end drag it down here to this end and then we'll go down here our pivot angle will be 60 degrees and we'll hit enter and now it locks it into that 60 degree angle right uh, and then also you can go down here because it gives you another uh, option in the command line both sides so you can click it on both sides and then click it now you have a uh, curve 60 degree from both sides of this curve here uh, pretty basic right uh, but also uh, you can go in here to your drop down and you can go uh, right here align angled and click on that and then go in here and maybe you want it from a surface you, you want to make a certain curve from a surface so we'll go from there to there and we'll just give it a, a, a 90 degree angle and then hit enter and now it's locked into 90 degrees from that and again you can go to both sides if you want uh, and then you can use those lines to make other uh, angled lines if you want. So uh, there's, a, there's a lot there. So let's we'll go to line, uh, angled. We'll do one from here to here. And we'll do type in a 45 degree line. And we, now we have a 45 degree line. And if we have in near snaps on, uh, we can actually go ahead and lock it over to this line here. So there's uh, actually, a, a, it's a lot there uh, i don't really use the angle curve very often but it is something that uh, you could do uh, mainly maybe when you have something like a, a ring uh, your ring rails out there and you can draw a line from f4 just a line holding down shift to your top there right and maybe you want it you know at a certain angle so you can figure out where the design's going to be or something like that so you can just go back to your line click right click go to your angle select that uh curve we want the this one here and then maybe you want it at a, a 75 degree angle or something and it'll lock it over into 75 degrees so this will be the bottom of our design here and then you can take that and mirror it over or whatever uh, but uh, you know if you want a certain angle this is kind of maybe a, a good useful place so you get reference lines or know where things want to end or something like that uh, but that's kind of the angle. There's not really much to it. Uh, so uh, hopefully this will just give you an idea of what the angle uh, works with in the command line. And uh, hey, free, have at it. Practice. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll go on to our next one, which will be the vertical. And we'll be right back.